Hi, this is the brief introductory video for lecture four. Uh, in this lecture, what we're going to do is focus on that fourth uh, condition that's required at the optimum and optimal control program, problem rather, and that's called the transversality condition. And in the process, we're going to actually uh, more formally derive the other uh, conditions required of an optimum in an optimal control problem. Uh, so we'll start by in the, the statements one through four there, simply lay out these are the optimal conditions. These were uh, presented in lecture three without any uh, explanation. And then we go through a derivation that, um, that I get from Chang uh, that uh, presents how you actually uh, get to the transversality condition. We're going to consider different types of endpoint problems. And the, the easiest and, and uh, most important starting point is what we call a vertical endpoint problem, where the, uh, the time horizon is fixed at, say, capital T, but the value of x can take on any value. And then what we do is we go through and we set up that particular optimization problem uh, using a Lagrangian, but then switch gears and convert that Lagrangian formulation to uh, the Hamiltonian formulation that we see here. And we arrive at uh, what I call equation one, right, which right back up here. All right. And equation one is really sort of the, the core of, of this lecture. And, it, and from equation one, which is simply a re-expression of the Lagrangian, you can derive all of the first order conditions necessary for an interior solution of a of an optimal control problem, and then by making the appropriate modifications, the, uh, the transversality conditions can be derived from that as well. Uh, the transversality conditions, the basic idea here is that we simply take the derivative of this whole thing, um, uh, v, or equation 1, with respect to the variable where we have some flexibility. So using that, we can take the uh, derivative with respect to x capital T, and we get the, uh, the transversality condition that is uh, familiar already, just lambda cap t is equal to 0. Um, we can take the derivative with respect to capital T, where holding x cap t constant, so that's a, what we call a horizontal endpoint problem, and we come up with a different transversality condition. Uh, we can even take the derivative uh, with respect to uh, uh, t when x cap t has to take on a particular value for different values of t. Anyway, the approach is uh, very much the same. It's the same basic process. Go back to equation one. Make sure you're looking at the problem in the appropriate formulation. If you've got salvage value, you need to incorporate that in. And then take the derivative and you get your transversality conditions. I, I think this lecture is very important because it, it most formally, I'm not big on formality, but this is as close as I'm going to get to really formally deriving the uh, optimization uh, conditions required in an optimal control problem. So it's important that you get all of this stuff right. Um, anyway, uh, I look forward to interacting with you and uh, hope uh, that the lecture is informative. Have a good day.